Good morning, Marilyn. We have a ridge of high pressure building in across the region. That is going to keep us mostly dry throughout your Wednesday. We will be dealing with a fair amount of sunshine, but an area of low pressure that sits off towards the Midwest. That is going to approach us as we head into your Thursday, sparking a round of showers and storms. This morning, we're waking up with numbers in the upper 60s and even into the mid 70s, 74 degrees in Stevensville and Easton, 69 up in Elkton. So feeling a little bit cooler near the Mason Dixon line. Good morning, Westminster, holding strong to 72. Today is National Book Lovers Day. I'm reading a really good book myself currently. Uh, take the book outside. Go outside, soak up that sunshine while you dig into a really good book. Temperatures will be climbing into the mid and upper 80s. Today we have low humidity. It will be feeling warmer than yesterday, but we will see a fair amount of sunshine with some clouds streaming in from time to time heading into the afternoon. But yes, low humidity, that's going to be the big story today because your hair is going to love it. It's going to feel very comfortable. Dew points are going to be set up in the low to mid 60s, so that extra spritz of spray is not a terrible idea, but no need to grab the hat or even uh, the hair tie. Today is going to feel really great out there, but then we get back near that humid category heading into your Thursday as we increase our dew points, the amount of moisture in the atmosphere. A little bit of a dip for Friday, so Friday is not going to be feeling too bad, but then we climb back into the mid and upper 60s in terms of our dew points this weekend and into early next week, making it feel a little bit uncomfortable. So we will be dealing with clouds streaming in from time to time. Uh, plenty of sunshine breaking through the cloud deck as we head around 3 to 4 o'clock today. Most of us will stay rain free, but there is that slight chance of a pop up shower, mainly around the metro southward, but it's not going to hit every neighborhood. It's going to be very isolated. A warm front lifts tomorrow, bringing the potential for a few showers tomorrow morning. A cold front trails behind it, sparking a round of showers and thunderstorms later on in the day. The good news is the severe weather threat is looking to be very low and mainly to the south of the state of Maryland. Your seven day forecast. If you're heading out to the athletes unlimited lacrosse match in Sparks on Thursday, you want to bring the umbrella with you because it could be a little bit unsettled out there. Friday, we dry things out just in time for the upcoming weekend, looking mostly dry, hot and humid on Saturday and Sunday with highs in the low 90s and then another round of showers and storms as we kick off early next week.